anything touching teachers, I will answer you in the best currency possible, as long as you don't understand what is meant by teachers. Now, I'm here to answer a doctor, a doctor, in a, I don't know his doctorate, whether it's from education or not, but Dr. Miyingo, the Minister of State for Education, who has given directives to teachers to all who have degrees. One, let me be quoted properly. I am not against teachers getting degrees, but it's not degrees that determine how a teacher teaches. One, these are the questions I'm asking the minister. If at all he can respond to any of them, then we shall allow teachers to be put under duress to go and acquire degrees. Teachers are meant to be at school. One of the main issues affecting teachers is poor pay. Now, when you tell them to go and acquire bachelors in education, who is going to facilitate them? Where are they going to get time to get those degrees? Yet they are supposed to be at school. Recently, already we have teachers in the primary schools who have masters. They went on their own, acquired bachelors, bachelors in education, got masters. And it's the same ministers who say that these teachers are overqualified for primary education. But they are saying they should have degrees. Now, may I find out, as you start asking them to have bachelors of education, are you paying these teachers commensurate their qualification? Because under the scheme of service, which was set in 2010, teachers were supposed to get their qualifications and they get their ladders raising according to their qualification. This scheme only ran for only one year, and since 2010, teachers have not realized their scheme of service. So, Mr. Miingo, doctor, you are an educationist. You have schools. Have you taken interest in finding out how teacher training colleges are performing? As we talk now, PTCs have refused to recruit teachers, have failed to recruit teachers. Why? Because... The conditions they gave to teachers are too strong. Hence, teachers are abandoned and the students refuse to go to teacher training colleges. But even then, where are those facilities that you have put in place as a government that will make teachers go and acquire degrees? Then after the acquisition of those bachelors, how much are you going to pay them when you have always been saying that they are overqualified? So, I think, I don't know, I don't know who, who educates these ministers, who researches for them to find out the pledge of teachers. When you cut out research now, from 1986 when NRM came to power, go and look at the categories of teachers we had from 1986 up to around 1993, and then look at the type of teachers qualifying now. People are rejecting them because the standard of teaching is very low in teacher training colleges. Then you come out, you tell us you want bachelors of education. Where, where, where is the curriculum development you have given that is going to be followed in educating these people? So we are saying, before you talk about qualification of teachers in the bachelors, first pay all those teachers in the primary schools who have bachelors of education. I did a diploma. And after qualifying, my, 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 my qualification was entitling me to a salary commensurate to a diploma holder. I went to Makerere, did Bachelor of Education, and I remained teaching when I was getting the same salary as a grade three teacher. But let me say this, it's not the qualification of teachers that determines the teaching. It's the type of uh, system, management, and the remuneration of teachers that determines teaching. That's why when you go to Kampala parents, you will find old women who taught the vernacular, who are, who are vernacular teachers, who are great teachers, they are still teaching because they have those skills that they can determine teaching of a child in the primary. So, Dr. Mingo, can you define, can you explain to the press how far have you gone with the promotion ladder of teachers since 2005, 2010, the scheme of service, which you yourself have abandoned? Because when you meet him seven, you are president, whom you just can start leaking, fearing. You tell him, we don't have money to pay teachers. We don't have money to pay teachers. You have no money to pay teachers, you want them with the bachelors. Very stupid question and statement. Let us reason. 
Let us use our heads whenever we are talking about teachers. So, could we go for the statistics in Mr. Mingo's schools? We find out those with bachelors, masters, and PhDs. The answer is no. They are mathematics teachers with diplomas serving better than bachelors. But once you put it in place, you must give teachers all the remuneration and the allowances and the fees to study. Because it's you to teach them. But you are directing them, yet you are paying them peanuts. A grade three teacher is earning 400,000. The head teacher of a school is having, he has a degree as of now. He's also earning 800,000. There is no difference between the other. Then you start sitting in your chairs, rotating everywhere because you have vehicles with the flags. You start commanding the teachers. You don't know there is a, they have a shocker at the parliament called the Sewungu Joseph Gonzag, who will answer you in the best currency you deserve. So I would say, let us take time. I am requesting the two ministers, Rosemary Senindye, Mr. Miyingo, let me sit between your vehicle. We visit all the teacher training colleges. If we just visit only two, there's one at Chibuli here. We see whether there's teaching there. We see whether there's teaching. And we look at the products that have been coming out since 2010 from the scheme of services. Look at this rubbish. And the, and the new vision also finds this very useful. This is not a marketing item. It's not. Teachers given a deadline to obtain the degrees. Very stupid statement. Very stupid and unbecoming. Which deadline? Are you terminating their services? How far have you gone with the scheme of service for teachers? How far have you gone, Mr. Mingo, doctor? This is the situation we have in this country. These people have schools. They, they have teachers teaching their schools with the grade three, and they, 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 they feel very comfortable with their schools, not minding about the poor families behind in Kalungu. So I would like to state, and as I conclude, who is going to facilitate teachers, who will pay for their study, and what about those who are already serving with the degrees? Are you paying them as per their bachelors? Go and make research. Make a research. Carry out a research. Don't just come to, to, to entertain. Museven, can Museven pay money to teachers with degrees? Who has killed education throughout this country? He has killed it thoroughly. The way he's killing himself day by day. We, we know what is done by teaching. I am a teacher. I taught. And it's not because I had a degree that I was making children pass in the primary. So I think that's what I can say, unless there's any question.